Hey guys, it's Kathleen with Thrifty Bridges. If you're new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller and a full-time school counselor, and I scoop up bargains that I find at yard sales, garage sales, thrift stores, and I try to flip them for a profit on online platforms. So if you are into thrifting content, then you are definitely at the right channel. Hit the subscribe button, throw us a comment down below, hit the like button, do all the things that help us out so much in YouTube algorithm world. All right, guys, this is a very short um, yard sale trip. This was one of a couple that I did several weeks ago. Um, however, I have been in Atlanta sourcing with Karen, so I did not have time to run out and go thrifting, but don't worry, there is a death pile thrift haul coming really, really shortly with some great stuff. But I did manage to pick up a couple of good things that I am going to share with you. So make sure you stick around for the thrift haul portion of the video. All right, guys, let's go. Good morning. Good, thanks.
with a dollar. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's best. They're on there. <laughs> yeah. We're included in, included in blouses, I guess. <laughs> Sugar, yeah. but I can't drink it just mm -hmm. like, she, she put just a little sugar, sugar and, and that's about it. Yeah. I've never tried it with a cream. 
She did. She put the cream in it. I mean, she was definitely blue. Right. That's right. I would come over sometimes and, and we would we would have to. Steve. Oh, that was me. I always enjoyed that. <laughs> Watch me break it. I'm going to put it in here to, to save it from me. Yes. Okay guys, I'm back with the thrift haul portion of the video. In total, I went to two yard sales and one estate sale and one of the yard sales was so bad that I just totally deleted the footage because it wasn't even worth your time. Um, it was one of those yard sales where it's like people that buy all of those Amazon leftovers and that was the whole yard sale and nothing was priced at a reasonable price. It was total waste of my time. Um, but I did hit another yard sale and an estate sale and they were okay. Nothing, absolutely a home run, nothing spectacular, but I did get a couple of items that I think had merit. Um, first item, and I haven't looked at the comps on this, is this um, vintage Telluride clothing company collection. I just liked it. I liked the style of it. It is in a size large, so um, I love the color and I love the suede that is on the collar and also on the sleeves. So I thought that this was worth taking a stab for because it was only a dollar. Okay, also only a dollar, I picked up this Lane Bryant shirt. It is in excellent excellent condition it's in a great size really really pretty color for the summer and it is an 1820 lane bryant just sells for me i prefer picking it up new with tags but i will even pick it up especially when it's only a dollar without the tags because it just moves i grabbed these crocs for two bucks crocs that's another thing that just moves for me especially something like this where it's like these cork wedge heels, super cute. It's in a size eight, which is another great size for me to pick up. So happy to pick these up for only two bucks. And then the last thing I picked up for only a dollar was this thing of Tinkerbell with all of her little Polly Pocket dresses and her wings and all the things. These are another thing that have a good selfie rate for me. Love picking them up, especially when they're only a buck. Moving on to the estate sale, I grabbed this set of OPI. I don't even know if it has a resale value, but it is new in the package. It was only two bucks and I thought it was darling. Okay, I got two of these beer steins. These were only um, $4 for the whole set. And these are vintage made in Japan beer steins and I should be able to get at least 22 to 24 dollars per mug so that was not a bad pickup I gotta tell you at this estate sale they had really ridiculous prices on a lot of things like an opened box of staples it was listed for two dollars are you kidding me it's crazy all right and then I paid two dollars for this and I only picked it up because it was brass and then it turns out that this does have value. This is a Delph Gouda mini pitcher. So it's not like it's gonna bring me $100, but I should get somewhere between $12 and $15 for this. So decent pickup. All right guys, that's everything for this teeny tiny small little thrift haul. As always, if you like what you see, if you enjoy thrifting and watching this kind of thrifting content, please consider subscribing to our channel. We are super close to 200. 
only 800 more to go. All right, guys, that's it. I am out of here until next time. Bye, guys.